Hey travelers, are you ready for a Disney cruise? I hope so. In this video, I'm gonna go over the online check-in process and how you can guarantee that you get the earliest boarding time available. Now, if you book with us here at Third Wish Travel, we will do your online check-in for you so you don't have to worry about it. But if you are checking in yourself or maybe you're using another travel agent who isn't checking you in, then hopefully this guide will help you out. Okay, so let's get started. Make sure to log in to the Disney Cruise Line website I will link the URL in the description down below in case you were having trouble finding it. But once you've created an account and you're logged in, you will want to head over to the tab that says already booked and then find online check-in. Depending on your cruise, membership will determine when you can actually check in. So for the majority of people sailing for their first time, you will be able to check in 30 days prior to sailing. Disney does have a special tier system for frequent sailors, which allows them to check in even earlier. So make sure to inform your travel agent if you do have a membership so they can check you in on the proper date. The Disney Cruise Line check-in will open up at midnight EST. So make sure you are prepared to go because much like dining reservations, you will be competing against other passengers for port arrival and board times. Now, once you see this check-in button, you're going to want to click on it and then it's going to send you you to this screen where you will need to fill out some basic information for you and your party. Now, unfortunately, you're not able to skip ahead to port arrival time and get first tips on boarding. Instead, you're going to have to go in order. This is why having your pictures and passport scanned in and ready to go will help speed this along. Now, side note, if you are using the Disney Cruise Line transportation on the day of your embarkation, you don't actually have to worry about port arrival time. This is because the transportation bus will take you to the port right when boarding begins. And as a bonus for everyone using this service, you are placed in one of the earliest boarding groups, which is pretty amazing. So make sure to ask your travel agent about this transportation option when booking. Okay, so let's start filling out some information. So when starting with guest information, you should see everyone in your party or stateroom available on this list. For the most part, as long as the majority of your information is the same, meaning address and emergency contacts, you will only need to fill out one guest's information and the other ones will just copy it over. So here you can see that I start with my own check-in. Now, since my address was already linked to my account, it auto filled in the blanks. However, if this is still blank for you, just go ahead and fill in the information accordingly. Make sure to set your preferred language and put in your emergency contact information. Now, if your party members will be using the same address and emergency contact, then you can just check this box next to their name and it'll just copy everything over for them. All right, so next you will be uploading your passport photo. I had mine already in a separate folder and just dropped it in. It will ask you to make some adjustments, so just make sure that the picture and the information is clear. If there is a glare on the photo, it will not work. So if it does work for you, then you should see all your passport information autofill in the blanks. Just double check to make sure that the information is indeed correct. Next, you're gonna be uploading a photo of yourself. Again, I just dragged and dropped mine. I know I look pretty good, right? <laughs> now there is a list of do's and don'ts. So make sure you're following these guidelines when uploading your photo. For the do's, it's important that it is a color photo, but I would hesitate using filters. It's gotta be all natural, baby. <laughs> Next, make sure it's taken from the shoulders up and you must be looking forward. Your face also needs to be clearly visible and you really should be the only person in this photo if possible. Now for the don'ts, make sure that your picture is not the same as your ID or your passport. It needs to be its own photo. Also make sure that you're not wearing any hats or objects on your head, so I'm really sorry, but no Mickey ears. Make sure that your eyes are visible, so that means no sunglasses. However, you can wear regular glasses like in my case. And like I stated before, no other people or objects should be in this photo. If you do get a warning message next to your photo, it's most likely because you didn't follow the guidelines and you're gonna need to retake and upload a new photo. Now, if you will be using a wheelchair, you can check this box, which will inform Disney that you will need special accommodations when using either transportation or just getting on and off the ship. Pretty cool, thanks Disney. Okay, so once you've filled out your information, it'll go to the next person in your party. 
Just verify that their information is correct and then continue to do the same process as before. Now, since my wife is a woman, it did ask if she will be pregnant at least 24 weeks or more while on the cruise. So if you or someone in your party is going to be pregnant of at least 24 weeks when you're sailing, you will need to let Disney know. However, in our case, my wife is not currently pregnant, so we marked no. All right, so once everyone in your party has had their guest information filled out, you will then move on to the onboard account information. Here you will need to put in your credit card information for the cruise line since all purchases that do not fall into the all-inclusive experience will be charged to your stateroom with the credit card on file. Once this information is filled out, you will see an option allowing guests in your party to have full access to your card, meaning they can make charges to your stateroom if you allow it. Since I love my wife, I gave her privileges to use our card. Just go ahead and mark all the people who you will be paying for and then give access to those in your group whom you want to have the ability to make charges. So if you trust your kids, then you can give them access. If you don't trust your kids, I would make sure not to add them here. This is information that you should inform your travel agent about if they will be doing your online check-in for you. Okay, so then you will need to check this box which lets Disney know that you will take on the responsibility for all charges placed on your room. Once you click save, you should be taken to the next check-in process which is the travel plans. However, if you did not get to this step, it's because someone in your party does not have their credit card information put in or you did not include them in that box that states that you will be paying for them. So make sure just to fill out their information if they will be paying with a separate card. Now, once you make it to the travel plans, this is where you're gonna be telling Disney how you will actually get to port as well as where you're gonna be going after your trip. Now, this can be a little confusing, but to put it simply, if you will be flying in on the day of embarkation and you're going to be flying back home after the cruise, you're going to need to select yes both ways. And then you can continue to put in your flight information for Disney's records. Since we already will be in Orlando the day before sailing, we just selected yes after the cruise. This really should be straightforward. Just select the option that best fits your situation. If you are flying, you will need to fill in the airline information, so make sure that you have that flight number available. You will also need to state where you will be going after the cruise, and since we're gonna be going to the airport, that's what we selected. Since we had already booked our transportation through Disney, the Disney transfer was auto-selected. However, if this is blank for you, make sure to check one of these boxes if it applies to you. Also, make sure to check everyone in your party who will be traveling with you. You don't wanna leave anyone behind. <laughs> So once you fill out the travel plans, you will finally get to pick your port arrival and board times. However, since Krista and I will be using the Disney Cruise Line transportation, we received this message, which just lets us know that once we arrive at port from the Disney transportation, we can basically instantly board. However, if you're not using transportation, you should see an option like this, which will give you different times available to choose from. Most of the time, the earliest boarding groups between say 11 and 12 o'clock tend to be gone since guests who either have a membership or those that just checked in faster than you have already picked those spots. So if you really want to guarantee that you're getting that earliest check-in, then the best thing that you can do is either use Disney transportation or just be as fast as possible when checking in at midnight. Really, the important thing to know is that if you are going to secure your booking time at, say, 2 p.m., but then you get to port at noon, you will have to wait until 2 to board. Disney is not going to let you get on early, so make sure that you're picking a time that works best for you. All right, so once you pick a boarding time, you will get to the final process, which is your contract. Make sure to read through this and I would recommend that you actually email a copy of this to yourself for future use and then you're going to check the box to confirm that you've read it. So there you go. You did it. You completed your online check-in. Make sure to download or save your port arrival form and have a copy of this when you are checking in. Now, it may take a few days for Disney to actually verify your information, but once they have, you should receive a confirmation in your email that you are all checked in and ready to go. It's so exciting. Now you just need to make sure that you pass everything. If you book with Third Wish Travel, we actually provide you with a resource guide and a packing list so that way you know exactly what to expect when on vacation and you have everything essential ready to go for your trip. So that's about it. I hope this guide was beneficial to you and your family. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us in the comment section or you can email me directly at brian at thirdwishtravel.com. Please consider subscribing to our channel and like this video if you found the information important and helpful. Thank you for choosing us as your travel guide because with third wish travel dream vacations are no longer wishful thinking y'all have a magical day best wishes